Kia ora, talofa, manale, bula, aloha, and welcome to Season 10, Episode 3 of Breakfast Bites by TableForDigital.com, a wrap of Pacifica People Sports News on Wednesday morning, 3rd July 2024, where it is a cloudy 22 degrees Celsius at 5 a.m. Coming to you with Tanz Venisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Blue Continent. In Rugby Union, the British women's Rugby Sevens team has been slammed by feminists, led by women's tennis legend Martina Navratilova and fellow British Olympic team members to Paris for posing in lingerie. In Rugby League, NRL games tomorrow, Parramatta Eels vs South Sydney Rabbitohs at 7.50pm Australian Eastern Standard Time at Combank Stadium. On Friday, Cronulla Sharks vs Gold Coast Titans at 6pm in Coffs Harbour and the Brisbane Broncos vs the Penrith Panthers at 8pm at Suncorp Stadium. And in football, Euro 2024 results this morning, Netherlands 3-0 over Romania and the big upset, Turkey 2-1 over Austria. So, Switzerland, Germany, England, Spain, France and Portugal Already into the quarters, now joined by Netherlands and Turkey. In sports biz, July 1 every year marks the payment of serious money in ongoing salary deferrals for several former MLB stars, including uh, Bobby Bonilla, who receives U.S. $1.2 million annually from the New York Mets from 2000 until 2035, plus a second deferral agreement with the Orioles at U.S. half a million dollars each year from 2004 to 2028. Hall of Famer Ken Griffey Jr. will receive the final $3.6 million from a 16-year deferral agreement with the Reds. Manny Ramirez will receive $2 million US from the Red Sox as part of a 16-year deferral pact running through 2026. And Chris Davis will receive US $9.1 million from the Orioles as part of deferrals contained within his prior $161 million US dollars contract. According to Sport Track, Davis has another US $40 million due from the team between now and 2037. Some of these payments are well in excess of the 2024 salaries of many current MLB stars. Many more deferral payments are forthcoming from current contracts, which provide short-term financial fl flexibility for teams and longer-term security for players. All of these contracts, however, pale in comparison to the U.S. $680 million in total deferrals for Dodgers superstar Shohei Otani. The Japanese baseball phenom agreed to set aside U.S. $68 million of his U.S. $70 million annual salary to help keep his new team competitive, and he will be paid that money instead between 2034 and 2043. At Wimbledon, Andy Murray has withdrawn from Wimbledon due to an ongoing back injury. His game was uh, scheduled to uh, yesterday evening the latest possible slot on centre court to give the British tennis star a chance of faking it, but it was not to be. Meanwhile, number two seed Novak Djokovic pulled off a miraculous return, defeating Vit Kopriva 6-1, 6-2, 6-2 in his first match since undergoing surgery on his right knee. In the Paris Olympic Games, American teenage sprint sensation Quincy Wilson is set to become the youngest ever U.S. male track Olympian after the 16-year-old has reportedly been picked in the 4x400 meter relay team for the Olympic Games in Paris. Wilson's selection comes after a brilliant debut at the U.S. Olympic trials last week where he twice broke the under-18 400 meters world record of 44.59 seconds in the semifinals on Sunday and two days later after he initially broke the record with a time of 4.66 seconds. In combat sports, Alex Barrera and Jiri Prochaska scored huge salaries at UFC 303 with the Brazilian Pereira banking US $3 million plus one of the largest fight bonuses in UFC history 
Dana White awarding Pereira US $303,000 for his successful UFC light heavyweight title defense. The Czech fighter Prochaska received a career best US $1 million payday. Finally, the BBC has been slammed for posting Mr. Tiano Ronaldo as the highlight tag of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo's missed penalty kick in their quarterfinal against uh, Slovenia yesterday. Miss Tiano Penaldo. That's hilarious. And that's a wrap, peeps. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you want to receive more Pacifica Sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo and Kakite for TavoWordDigital.com. I'm Carlton Kamir, thanking you all too much for all your love and support.